Hey guys, Captain Cross here and today we will learn how to install and play Call of Duty Mobile on Bluestacks. So let's get started. First of all we need to open Play Store because we need Chrome. It's uh, Chrome. Let's uh, okay. Next. Uh, now this link will be provided in the description and this link will be in the comments as well so you can get the link from there this is a google drive link this has both the apk and the obb file in it so first we need to download the, the apk And while the APK is downloading, we are going to get uh, the the zip file as well. This is the obb file. This can directly extract into the folder. So we don't need to make a new folder in the Android obb section. So we'll just download this and I will skip to the part where this is done downloading. Okay. So let me just start this. And we'll be, we will continue the video once this is done. Five minutes later. Hey, yo. So we're back. It is still okay. It's just uh, <laughs> it just completed downloading. So along with this, we will also need ES File Explorer. So you can get ES File Explorer directly from the Play Store, or you can download it from. Uh, I'll rex deal as well so i already have es file explorer so i'm just going to just, uh, okay so we already have it now we can start doing our thing right and we will go first we are going to go to downloads because that's where it downloaded you see both of these now we are going to open the a zip file and you see this folder you uh, click and hold on this and you get the extract button click on that and choose path when you click on choose path you can choose on this and now you have to go to android and obb and now just click ok so it will uh, and when you click ok here it will start extracting so let uh, we will let uh, this complete just give it a minute. It's it's pretty fast. The phone storage is pretty fast. I mean, it also depends on your hard disk uh, speed. But uh, my Windows is installed on well SSD, so this should not take a long time. Almost there. All right. So this is done now we can go back go back and now to downloads just to confirm we will go to android and obv so you see this this folder you don't have to name it manually it all already is here so it's it's easier now we are going to just install the apk Okay, that's done. So click on done here. And when you click on this, you might get a prompt to change some settings, but that's okay. You can do it, and uh, the blue stacks will restart for once. Now it needs some permissions for storage and audio. So we click on OK and give it permission for storage and audio. So okay. So this is starting. This is good. Many people face a black screen issue after this, so I will keep testing. If I get black screen issue, I will let you know and I will also let uh, upload another video on how to fix that. So we will just wait for it to launch. 
uh well luckily this one does not have any black screen issue so we can easily go through with this Uh, this might take some time on the first try. I don't know why it's taking so long, but it sometimes takes some time. So just be patient and don't close it in between. Alright, so that's done. Now we're going to confirm this. Agree. And I will log in with Facebook. You can log in with anything. I will. Okay. I al already have Facebook installed on my BlueStacks, so it automatically logs in to that. But if you don't have Blue uh, Facebook installed on BlueStacks, then it will ask you to log in through Blue uh, Facebook manually. You need to. Well type your email and Facebook password on that. Okay, so this is loaded. Now as you can see I have already played this game a bit before. So I am not lowest level. Right. Okay, I don't want to keep that in pass. Can we turn down the volume a bit? this should be fine now the biggest problem uh, while playing in the emulator is the settings right so i have already made a very good configuration for 1080p so i'll just go and it is it is made for the advanced mode i have not made any for simple mode so if you are going to play on advanced mode then it is going to be much better and I have not tested it in the battle royale mode so mm, sorry about that now go to herd custom custom manual fire mode and you see these now you can see you can configure this uh, with, by yourself depending upon your settings so I'm going to save this and this is what you're going to get now for me I don't like the uh, to see these buttons so you can click on these and decrease their alpha to 10% because 10% is minimum so that was that 10% 10% one eternity later 10%, okay. let's confirm that this this is completed done so all you have to do uh, when you download the configuration file is click on the open keyboard controls UI and you are going to click on more and import now import custom uh, configuration file continue and you are going to uh, import the file I will just to show you I will export it as okay so I will export this and I will clear this okay then import continue and you are going to click on this C dot cfg file and open it see everything comes up perfect okay so these are the default controls we are going to click on confirm and go back let's play one match let's play one match and i'll show you how if you have played any game any fps game on well pc then these controls are going to be great for you because these are very similar to controls from Counter Strike or PUBG. Very much similar from that. So, hey, I am just a level 7 rookie. <laughs> now, to remove this cursor, you are going to press F1. And once you press F1, this will go away. And you are going to go to shooting mode. So, see, if I press 1, again, this comes back. Uh, let's keep that off. Let's keep that off as well. 
press 1 and we are in the shooting mode. I am playing on low graphics for higher frame rate but my PC is well very crappy. Okay, so let's go. We've taken the lead. There we go. Tied for the lead. Huh? What? <laughs> Fifteen minutes later. Yeah, yeah, check that. All right, uh, thanks for thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, press the like, share it with your friends, and if you really liked it, you can press subscribe. Any kind of help is seriously appreciated. I also go live on Twitch, so you can follow me with the link in the description, which is twitch.tv slash cpt underscore cross. You can watch me there. We do have lots of fun. And if you want to join the Blue Stacks India community, there is a link below. Blue Stacks India holds a lot of a lot of tournaments every weekend. Every weekend, entries are free. You can join and win money for free, basically. <laughs> so, thanks, thanks for stopping by, and please subscribe. It helps us a lot.